Hello beautiful Sagittarius. Welcome to my channel, Miss Reem Healings. My name is Reem. Welcome into your March reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Sagittarius on your soul to soul connections. This could be soulmate, twin flame energy. Please take it however it resonates with whatever journey that you are on. Messages will also arise regarding work, family, friendship, and career. Anything to help guide you, heal you, and assist you on your path. Thank you for allowing me to read for you today, for tapping into your energies. These messages are for your higher self. My guides are my guardian angels. That's who I connect to. If this reading does not resonate with you, please be kind to others. Just because it didn't resonate with you does not mean that it wasn't for anybody else, okay? Come back another time, or maybe I'm not the reader for you, okay? Okay, Sagittarius. Let's get going. This is going to be um, for Sun, Moon, Rising, being a Sagittarius. We're going to start with the Angel Tarot deck. And then go with the flow. See where else we are guided to here. Thank you, guardian angels, archangels. Thank you for your guidance, for your messages, and for your protection. Thank you. Oh, one more. Okay. So your overall energy is... Wow. You know what's really funny is I was going to say blue because I had a vision of blue and I don't know why. The Ten of Cups is here at the bottom, home. So someone might like the color blue or someone drives a blue car, but blue is very significant. Um, this blue is also throat chakra. This home here is significant of soul or heart. Okay, this is what this home is signifying. But there's something here about blue and perhaps... Let me see. I think I feel like it's throat chakra. I'm getting ready to speak or voice it into here. Someone is bringing it. Determination, nine of wands. You've been through it. I feel like someone here has really been through battle or many different battles. But they still uh, persevere, and I feel like they ha there's a lot of wisdom. So like your your voice is amplified. Um, you speak clearly. You speak accurately. You speak with truth. You stand in your truth. You stand in your power. Wow, <laughs> angel of magic here with the magician. Let me see if we need any more. One more. See, you're you're so powerful, Sagittarius. This is the same group that I was picking up on. You're manifesting really strongly here. You have everything that you need. Yeah, dedication. And at the bottom of that, you have the angel of the past, judgment. And at the bottom of that, you have the emperor, I always take three cards from the bottom, and at the bottom of that, you have love, Ace of Cups. And the King of Swords is staring at me, decisions, and the King of Cups. Oh my God, you know what? I think I have, I'm gonna take probably more. Why do I feel like a story is unfolding here? Just give me a second. You have the King of, King of Swords, decisions, King of Cups, commitment, Knight of Swords, drama. <laughs> The lovers, angels of commitment. Where are you going with this? Okay. All right, let me see here. I just feel there's a really strong energy here about this new love, this Ace of Cups, because the home is amplified. Look at all this blue. 
someone is speaking what they want into existence this is a magician this is also a form of manifestation so you're speaking it you're being clear but not only that the emperor here angel of wisdom you carry a lot of wisdom with you wisdom is pain that is healed so now you have grown from the past now you are listening to the call listening to your purpose and look at the two dolphins here dolphins are soulmates <laughs> dolphins mate for life like yes there's a lot of animals in the kingdom that are non uh like they don't they're not monogamous um, but dolphins are, they mate for life, they choose their mate and they choose to stay together for life. They don't mate with anybody else but their mate that they choose. Dolphins to me are soulmates, like they understand that. <laughs> They're very intellectual. So there's something here with blue, there's something here with the water. This could be like somehow connected to your past life even. Take it however that resonates. I don't usually dip into past life or past life readings, but I feel like this goes back many, many lifetimes. And it's being brought forward. Look, it's like coming through the water, manifesting here. I feel like my heart is still, and I feel like I'm getting ready to receive this. Someone is so clear when they speak, like, this could be this King of Swords, who is very decisive. Okay, so for this group that I've been channel channeling for, uh, for quite some time now, I think it's been a few months, it's been the same group. If you haven't met this person yet, uh, you will be very, very soon because the magician is here. And judgment is here calling this manifestation forward, calling these two souls forward, bringing it into reality. You're very determined, very dedicated, but not just on this, in all areas of your life. I feel like um, you carry a lot of knowledge about the elements. So this is very significant of like all areas of your life. Like you know how to work. You're um, like you have work-life balance. You know, like you know how to separate yourself from your work, your coworkers, your friends, your family. Like you're very well balanced in each level of your life. I'm trying to decipher if this is all of the same person. I feel like it is. Because I feel like you have mastered, I know, sorry, we haven't even gotten to the spread yet, so just bear with me. Sorry, bear with me. I feel like you have mastered your divine masculine and your divine feminine self or you are mastering okay because i feel the sense of balance about you i feel like you have whether you are divine masculine or divine feminine not female or gender specific but the opposite of this energy is the empress energy and the high priestess energy which embodies all of the queens so i feel like your counterpart is also embodying all of the kings does that make sense but king and queen energy is not female or gender specific female or male gender specific it's an energy so you have mastered all of the queens they have mastered all of the kings or vice versa and you are mastering your divine feminine and divine masculine energies within yourself because we have both divine masculine and divine feminine energy i feel like they are learning how to how to master both energies within themselves 
but they are very high vibed <laughs> very high vibe this is one person they are decisive because I feel like someone here is very clear with their verbiage like I hear them speaking like very eloquently very clearly oh my god I can't I can't make this up I have to show you guys I'm so sorry I'm so sorry but I'm watching oh no hold on hold on oh my god I'm freaking out like my heart is racing I'm watching this um I'm watching this meditation music and right when I looked there were two dolphins on the screen oh my god where is it oh the moment passed dang no I have to show you guys I have to show you guys I don't care how long it's going to take me to find it I have to scroll See, I'm so red right now because that just threw me off guard. <laughs> oh my god. I cannot. Where is it? Guys, I can't find it. That's crazy. I'm not making this up. So I want to I want to show you. Okay, when it when it pops back in, I'll. Uh, oh, here it is! Here it is! Look, look, look at that! Do you see that? I'm gonna hit play again. Look. Can't make it up. Like this was literally on my screen. This is a relaxing sleep music, sleep therapy, um, and as I was talking about. Two dolphins, look at the two dolphins here. Huh. Oh, and here, see it switched. So it's like um, they show different pictures. And I've never seen this one before, okay? Like, I'm, I'm freaking out, okay. Okay, sorry, I'm like digressing here. Hi. My dog is like freaking out. She's like, what are you freaking out about? Um, okay, so let me let me just come back down to earth because <laughs> like I'm um, freaking out a little bit. Okay. So anyways, you're coming together. Okay, you're coming together with your with your person here. Um what was I saying? I was talking about mastering divine masculine, divine feminine energy. But this person is mastering, this person is the emperor, this person is mastering the, all of the kings, okay? Um, this nine of swords here with drama, this could be other people in your life, okay? Because I feel like the sense of warrior energy here with determination, like you fighting different battles in your life, and I, I still kind of feel like you're fighting, diff you're still fighting battles with like family members or friends co-workers um but it's not necessarily like fights it's just um it's just conflicts or challenges this drama is just kind of challenges and usually when you vibe really really high um people tend to vibrate to you of all different levels of energy so they could be lower vibrations higher vibrations it doesn't matter so i feel like you're encountering a lot of dramatic people who are causing some chaos in your life so anyways underneath all that you have the lovers lovers angels of commitment okay freaking out a little bit so let me just bring my energy down um okay so we are going to use the Golden Universal deck here. I have no idea what to title this reading. Okay. So 
sorry Sagittarius if I'm like all over the place <laughs> I hope I'm not okay I'm trying to I'm trying to ground my energy here okay These dramatic people here with the Knight of Swords, um, they don't think before they speak. And I feel like you're really high vibrational and you just kind of brush them off. But they're trying to, I think I talked about this last time, where people are trying to sway you from your path or, or your journey or your purpose. Um, I just got really cold all of a sudden. Um, it got really hot and then it got really cold. All right. So let's clarify this overall energy here of the Ten of Cups. And then let's do a spread. Six of Cups. Yeah. So strong soulmate energy. This is also past life energy. Past soulmates. Okay, so we have a lot of emphasis on um, past life and uh, this, this bond that you share with someone that it's always you guys over and over again. Um, and with the whole dolphin thing, dolphins mate for life. <laughs> Maybe that should be my title. People are going to be like, what? <laughs> and then you'll understand um, watching. But um, so this six of cups energy here is I feel like, you know, these two kids are out in front of a home. Do you see that? This looks like either, this looks like, so this looks like it's outside of a home. Okay, and you have here a Ten of Cups home, so even a physical home. But I feel like um, when I was, when I was intuitively picking up on this Ten of Cups energy, I was picking up on soul and I was picking up on heart which is representative of the home. Your soul is home. Your heart is home. Um, and I feel like it goes back to even like your younger self. So maybe you have always felt like you were home, oddly enough. Does that make sense? Because you've always been connected to this person. Moon underneath that. See, this person might have not, might not be yet revealed to you. Um but is being called forward, is manifesting. Yeah, it is manifesting here with the Page of Pentacles. Okay, so I'm getting also a work message here. You're getting a new offer, uh, something that's going to be financially stable. Someone is coming forward to make an offer um, that's going to really help you in your work because we also do have here the Eight of Pentacles dedication. So you're very dedicated at your job. Okay, I'm hearing you're very dedicated where, wherever it is that you are working at um, and you're being rewarded here with someone some or something. Something is being rewarded to you. This could be like a certification, uh, an award, um, a bonus or a raise and it's going to serve really uh, abundant in your life. Yeah, the moon. <laughs> the moon and the eight of cups underneath that. Yeah, so I don't think, um, I don't think something is being, like this, this manifestation of this uh, soul connection, this twin, this soulmate energy, I don't think this person has come forward yet or manifested in your reality. And if they have, then you're just on a different timeline than, um, than some other people, okay? So... It really depends on which timeline you are at in your life, okay? So for some of you, this person has come forward or has manifested in your life. Um, there is something here, though, that is not yet being revealed or reveals itself at night um, within your dreams, okay? is kind of what I'm getting. I'm getting a message that is being revealing itself in your dreams time and time again, 
um, because I'm being focused at like to nighttime. I'm, I see just someone like sleeping. So I see someone like receiving a message in their dreams. For some of you, you have dreams of like running or falling. Okay, that's a message for some of you or a confirmation is to look into what that dream means for you. Someone feels like they're running or they're falling in their dreams. Yeah, I, I just see you like walking away from these dramatic people here. Um, kind of just like this Eight of Cups is just standing in your power. Um, yes, <laughs> Seven of Cups with the Queen of Swords. Um, interesting. See, it's like you're, it, this is, so we just talked about the Eight of Cups. You have the Seven of Cups here. You have the Six of Cups here. It's like you're, you're going from eight. It's like you're counting downwards to one, to this Ace of Cups. And then after the Ace of Cups, you are at the Ten of Cups. So it's like you're working backwards, if that makes sense. <laughs> because I feel like we're going back in time, like back into the past but not in like this lifetime past, but in another lifetime past. If that, that doesn't make sense. Um, or the past, like a past life is like coming back around again in this lifetime here, this connection. Okay. <sighs> Excuse me. Just give me, bear with me in this reading. Um, the seven of cups here, see someone is, someone is being eluded, okay? Someone is being eluded from the truth, okay? Or someone is given illusions. I feel like honestly, these people that are creating drama in your life is what might be creating illusions or eluding you from your own truth. So like I mentioned in the previous reading, and I kind of still feel like this energy because before I think the gossip card came out for you and now we have the drama card. So it's just like people are trying to sway you from the truth and from your path. So I feel like some people are trying to create illusions or false, false realities or like fear. Oh, that's too many. Yeah, look at all the people. Look, three of swords, ten of swords, strength. So you, so thank goodness strength is here with uh, these energies. Um, so the worst is behind you. See, I feel like people are creating this energy. People in your life, okay? This like, see, look at all these people here. I feel like people might have stabbed you in the back or have betrayed you. Maybe that's why there's um, this drama here where they're eluding you from seeing the truth, eluding you from seeing what's meant for you, what's clear for you. But you have the strength to overcome this, okay? Or you have overcome this or you are overcoming this. No, nope, that's too many. too many but they said take it we have the ten of pentacles again and the six of wands see people are looking at you because you're moving up in the world and you're also moving up vibrationally people are looking at you they want to take from you or they have backstabbed you or are just creating drama trying to elude you trying to create fear trying to give you false realities even false hope or false beliefs or you're not good enough or what are you doing um, because you're vibrating high some people don't like other people succeeding and other people don't like seeing you being loved as well which is really sad it's really really sad some people do not but some people hate you because other people love you That's sad. This is what I see here. I see people like starting, starting like drama with you because they see other people loving you because they see your success because they see that you are, 
you're like people are looking at you at your high vibrational self you're manifesting new things you're getting this like amazing soulmate twin flame this amazing connection you're starting this new relationship and this new career you're getting promoted your life is balanced you're healing and you are really doing things for you and people see you succeed and people don't like that oh man <laughs> people don't like that I feel like you're just going to maybe look at things from their perspective or maybe just look at it from a bigger picture perspective I feel like it's not really going to get to you. Um, it just comes with the energy, honestly. It, once you vibe high, it's unfortunate, but that's just what happens. Wow, four of wands. <laughs> yep. For some of you, you're going to get married this year. I don't know why I usually never say anything remotely close to like time or year. I, I don't, I don't, but for some of you, it is what it is. Like, and they're giving me it specifically and I see a wedding. Some of you are getting married this year. Like this happens quickly. Like you see them, you recognize them, you know exactly who they are. They know exactly who you are. You've been together many, many lifetimes, the whole dolphin thing, like, <laughs> you guys mate for life and like and they just want you and you just want them and you guys are look king of cups at the bottom and it's like it's this quick like you meet date okay let's just let's just get married okay that might just happen for a few of you like in this year for others of you it might be longer than that but um like, but this is your person. They recognize you. Or they will recognize you. I mean, souls recognize each other. So, there's no question. Oh my gosh. That's just too many. I'm not even going to look at them. Oh my gosh, why am I getting so many cards? There's, uh, my angels were like, because. <laughs> okay, so you have here the Knight of Swords again with the Four of Cups and the Devil at the bottom. Like you really, you really cannot make this up. These people are lower vibrational energies. You have the Knight of Swords twice. They don't think before they speak. They're only after you to attach themselves to you. They're codependent. They feel your high vibe. They want to bring you down. They want to restrict you. Look, they don't just want to restrict you. They want to restrict this relationship. Um, I don't know. This is going to be like this. You know what song just popped into my head? Um... Oh my god, what's her name? Oh, when I channel, I go blank. It's called, if you, uh, I don't even know if that's what it's called. But it, it's, if you ask me, I'm ready. What's that song? What's that song? That's what's popping into my head. Um, because this person is going to come in and like ask you, and you're saying, if you ask me, I'm ready. Because you have to be ready. Because these people, when you're in a high vibrational committed relationship, it's unfortunate that people want to break or restrict the connection. When you are a high vibrational person, being very successful, you're making money, you are helping others, you are balanced, you are healing, and you are a healer. When you have this high vibrational self about you, what unfortunately happens is that you attract low vibrational energies that try to restrict your power. That try to restrict your power from vibing because they don't want that. 
so it's like when you come together with this person it's like are you ready because <laughs> that song popped into my head if you ask me i'm ready oh yeah i'm ready <laughs> that's crazy um someone could be dealing with um anxiety or depression here with the four of cups it could be because of these dramatic people or this chaos that's being uh, caused. The Wheel of Fortune with the Seven of Cups here. This is Jupiter and uh, the ruler of Sagittarius is Jupiter. So this is destiny and luck. I mean, this is bound to happen. It's only a matter of time. That it's 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 it has to happen in this lifetime. It has to happen. It's a matter of are you ready? Are you ready to take on what's to come? Because it's like you both are so high vibrational. Are you ready for what's to come? Or even you, are you ready for what's to come? Way before this even, way before this person comes into your life, are you ready for what's happening in your life today? Because you may, you may already feel it. Are you handling it properly? Are you really, are you listening to them? Are you being eluded? Are you, so I feel like someone here is um, kind of depressed or anxious over the drama that these people are creating um okay so it's like are you can you i know you can handle it but are you ready are you ready you have here the tower with the ten of swords so this is a really big change a really big disruption i'm hearing with the two of swords at the bottom it's like i didn't know that me vibrating high and helping others came with other people's drama and negativity and low vibrational flies or like moths to the flame like i i didn't know like i didn't ask for this it's kind of the energy that i'm getting i didn't ask I didn't ask for this. Well, that's what I'm hearing. I didn't ask for this. It's like someone had this like expectation that vibrating high or, you know, coming into this, um, your higher self and really um, standing in your truth and your authenticity, standing in your power, aligning to your purpose, listening to the call. It's like you almost thought that people like that can't touch you. The truth is they can't. They can't touch you, but they can still do this. It's a matter of how do you receive that? How do you learn how to block it out? Because you're protected. So I feel like people, this is in your past. You know, the endings, the betrayal, the people that have hurt you. They really caused a disruption in your life. It was almost like... These people were the catalyst to your growth, the catalyst to your change, to your spirituality, to your ascension. They really, like, it was like a very, it was a big ending. It was a big shift. It was a big change. It's like my life never looked the same. Alicia Keys, that's the song. If you ask me, I'm ready. Yes, okay, Page of Cups. Page of Cups with the uh, Three of Cups here. So I just feel like someone could come through and apologize because I feel like this Three of Cups energy is just a lot of people because it did come out with the Ten of Swords. Um, so it's just, uh, I just feel a lot of people. So you could get an apology from someone who harmed you or, or um, you know, really um, um, 
hurt you in the past this could be a friend because i do see a relationship being healed okay like a friendship is being healed i do see them coming forward and apologizing to you yeah nine of swords look ace of cups on the bottom and that's it like i have all my cards i uh, this is the last card that was to clarify the six of wands and the ten of pentacles and at the bottom you have the ace of cups like you can't make this up this is stressing you out is creating worry in you that people are looking at you they are jealous over over your success they are envious they are creating drama <laughs> like it's stressing you out it's stressful it's stressful you don't like it i don't blame you i don't blame you if i could stay in hermit mode all day every day i would <laughs> i I would honestly I really would but I love people too much it's like it's almost like hard to socialize I'm getting I don't know why but I, I kind of get that feeling it's like hard to socialize but regardless um, it, it's this energy of you being recognized and successful and you're worried how people are going to perceive you now being high vibed and successful and it's it's stressing you out well at the bottom of the deck you have the ace of cups this is the ace of cups twice <laughs> a new love i mean it says love right there healing love is healing love is not about pain love is healing so this is this healing relationship that you are coming into, the soulmate twin flame connection, this love. Oh my God. And you have the ace of wands underneath that. And I always take three from the bottom. You have the uh, eight of swords underneath that. Honestly, what this eight of swords is really help talking to me about is you are, you're not going to see it coming. You're not going to see it coming. This doesn't talk to me about restrictions. This is like someone unable to see something coming. It's like when you least expect it. And look, talking about clarity and decisions and speaking clearly and speaking your truth and your authenticity, the Ace of Swords is underneath there. And look, underneath all of that is the Empress. And we were talking about... <laughs> You know what, I'm going to take it because this is like such an amazing story. We were When we were talking about the emperor, I mentioned that the counterpart to the emperor is the empress. That this emperor is mastering all of the kings and all of the kings. And this empress energy is mastering all of the queens. And here you have the, the two counterparts here. Underneath, th she or he, doesn't matter. But this empress was underneath all of the all of the aces. Do you know what that tells me? This empress is birthing all of these new beginnings. So if you're resonating with the empress energy, you are the one birthing these beautiful blessings and these uh, gifts in your life. Obviously, the divine is giving this to you because it is written it's in your path it's your destiny but you are now receiving it you are getting ready to receive so this is the same thing as getting ready to give birth metaphorically right the magician here manifesting it you are manifesting all of this you are giving birth to a new life this is your new life that you are giving literally giving birth to some of you might be pregnant, <laughs> okay? Some of you might be pregnant with your counterpart's child because I did see two children. Some of you, some of you may have twins, okay? A lot of twins are going to have twins. It just is what it is. <laughs> it's like, um, wow, you're literally birthing your new life here. Truth and clarity, breaking free, 
new passions and alignment to your purpose and new love, divine love. This, this love is also healing. This is healing you. This is healing the other person. This is healing your friends, your family. When we talked about the, the three of cups with the page of cups, the star was at the bottom. Friendships are being healed. So yes, there is chaos and drama, but love and you will heal it all. Okay? Okay. Um, I have no idea what I'm going to title this reading, so I need to like meditate on what I'm going to title this reading. But I hope, uh, Sagittarius, that I was clear in relaying the messages. I hope it resonated with you. I'm sending you so much love, light, and protection. Thank you so much for watching, and God bless.